so folks the info zone is back with another video today's topic is carpal tunnel syndrome it is an entrapment nerve disorder which results in compression of the median nerve as it travels through the wrist at the carpal tunnel the median nerve arises from the medial and the lateral cord of the brachial plexus and travels all the way down towards the wrist passing and supplying the forearm muscles. The carpal tunnel is formed by the carpal bones and the transverse carpal ligament. It is a compact space in which the carpal bones form the floor and the transverse carpal ligament forms the roof. The contents of the carpal tunnel include nine flexor tendons and the median nerve. The nine tendons are tendon of flexor pollicis longus, four tendons of flexor digitorum superficialis, and four tendons of flexor digitorum profundus. Causes of carpal tunnel syndrome are The demographic causes include Increase in age Dominant in female genders Also in dominant hand And common in white races. The genetic causes of carpal tunnel syndrome are squared wrist, the shortened wrist, which has a shortened carpal tunnel, thickened transverse carpal ligament, and short stretches. Certain medical conditions such as diabetes and thyroid problems also cause. Carpal tunnel syndrome due to increased edema and fluids. In addition to this, pregnancy can also have an effect on the carpal tunnel syndrome. Pathophysiology Local inflammatory changes can cause compression of the median nerve. Inflammatory changes results in swelling and local edema. Which increases a lot of pressure in a tight space. And hence, the area innervated by the median nerve post the carpal tunnel is affected. Clinical features include dull pain initially, followed by pain in needle sensations in later stages, which is known as paresthesia. Atrophy of the muscles, it can be remembered as loaf muscles, the first and the second lumbricals, and the muscles of thenar eminence, the pollicis brevis, flexor pollicis brevis and opponents pollicis, which results in clumsiness in moments such as gripping of objects and fine motor skills such as buttoning of shirts. Diagnosis Electro diagnosis Sensory and motor examination And special tests the Most common special test which is done is the Fallon's Manovir or Fallon's Test. It is a tingling in the median nerve distribution in full flexion or extension for reverse Fallon's Test of the wrist for 60 seconds. The next is Tinnel sign 
in which gentle tapping over the median nerve in the carpal tunnel results in tingling and numbness of the nerve distribution. There is something called Durkin's test which involves manual pressure for 30 seconds over the carpal tunnel which causes tingling and numbness again. The pressure is applied for 30 seconds. Management includes certain modifications such as proper wrist position while typing. It should be parallel to the table. Certain ergonomic mice can be used in order to prevent excessive pressure over the wrist while typing. Physiotherapy includes stretching and isometric exercises for hand musculatures to improve gripping and to initiate fine motor functions. Certain medications such as corticosteroids can help to relieve pain. Also, the surgical division of transverse carpal ligament is done in order to relieve the pressure from the carpal tunnel. Just before we conclude, what for today? Creating an opportunity is better than to wait for an opportunity. If you like my video, please smash the like button. And if you have any suggestions, please do let me know in the comments section. Till then, thank you very much and goodbye.